I just have a short follow-up question. Um, so I've been doing that, going back to the eye when I feel agitated, um, trying to find it within myself. Um, and I always realize that it that it's very closely associated with my body. So um, I look very closely to my body and I realize it it kind of feels like it's just made out of clouds. It, it doesn't have, it, it's not really there. However, um, it, it so quickly goes back to what I'm used to perceiving it um, that the feeling or whatever came up is not really able to entirely dissolve. So I was wondering if you could. Yes, yes. So I understand, so that every time you close your eyes and you go back to the actual felt experience of the body, the, the old concepts and belief and the associated feelings that dissolve and you, you, you feel the body as a, a cloud of sensing appearing in space, made of that space. And then the, the old conditioning comes back very strongly and kind of overrides your experience. Is that, that yes. So, so just, um, you see, every time you go back, Every time you do this meditation that you've described, every time you close your eyes, I'm a newborn infant, it's this first experience I've ever had. My body is just this tingling, amorphous cloud of sensing appearing in my openness. Every time you do that, you erode the old habit of believing and feeling yourself to be something solid, dense, limited. So yes, the old when you then open your eyes again, the old habit comes back quickly because you've been rehearsing it and practicing it for so many years. So just having recognized, yes, if I go deeply into my experience, my body, the felt sense of my body is just a cloud of sensing. Just that experience, having had it once or twice, is not enough to erode this very well-worn habit. But every time we do go back there, we, we, we weaken that habit. We disempower it at least to a degree. And so we keep going back there, we keep going back there, we keep going back there, and, and gradually over the, over the months, this old habit of, of the old beliefs and feelings that spring back so quickly, they, they lose their power. They, they begin to show up less and less. So I understand the situation you're in. You've, under, you, you've seen something, you've understood something, but the old habits are still so strong that they're overriding your understanding. So it's just because those old habits are, are so deeply conditioned in us, we've been practicing them for so long, that it takes time. So you, do you suggest that when I do that, um, that I keep doing it until it's entirely dissolved? Because that, I, I don't have that experience that it entirely dissolves. And just I, at a certain point, I just get frustrated by um, this kind of ping pong game going on. You mean on. when you're sitting in meditation contem contemplating the body, you, it do, uh, the old feeling doesn't entirely dissolve? Yes, and it keeps getting back to me feeling as the body. Even when you're, you're in, in meditation? Yes. So I, um, I feel like I, um, it, it's, it's to, well, I, I recognize for what it really is. Um, and just, well, I can say in time, but a few moments later, um, it kind of, Springs pops. back to its yeah. old, yes. So, and that so, keeps like happening, so I've, Okay, so, uh, um, one thing you could try, Stella, instead of just exploring this when you're sitting quietly on a chair with your eyes closed, that's relatively easy. You close your eyes, you're a newborn infant, it's the first experience you've ever had. The body, you lose the label body, you even lose the, sen the label sensation. It's just a field of sensing. You, you can go there, yes? Is that you're right? I've understood, yeah. That's easy with your eyes closed, sitting quietly at, at home alone. Do the same thing walking down the high street with your eyes open. You can barely see your body at all. You occasionally see your legs walking. But apart from that, you can't see your body. What is my actual experience now? 
Do I feel myself something solid, dense, moving down the street? Or is there just a, a vibration, a sensation moving through space? Do, do, do the exp in order to bring this understanding out of, out of your bedroom into the high street, in, into more challenging circumstances, with, with your eyes open, try to do the same contemplations in, in, in um, more challenging circumstances. Well, it's already happening when I'm ha just having my eyes closed. You know, the, the going back and forth between... Um, okay, okay. Um, well, that's, that, that, that's fine. Just keep with your eyes closed. Um, when you go back to the old habit, keep questioning it. Is that true? What's my actual experience? That brings you back to your old... Your, uh, your actual experience. Then the old habit comes. Your eyes are still closed. The old habit. But my body is solid and dense. Is that actually true? Where's the evidence? Go to the <coughs> sensation of your legs on the chair. That seems to be evidence of weight, but it's just an intense sensation. A headache is an intense sensation. Do you feel it weighs something? No. Why? Because you don't superimpose the belief on it. Go to the experience the legs on your chair like you experience a headache. It doesn't weigh anything. Yes, it's intense. Not as intense as a headache, but it has a certain intensity. But liberate the, the intensity of the sensation from the concept of weight. Keep going back to your experience. It's every time you go back to your actual experience, you erode the power of your old beliefs. Until at the moment your beliefs trump your experience, but in time your experience begins to override your beliefs. That's very helpful, thank you.